Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade from DaVinci Resolve 18.66 to DaVinci Resolve 19 Public Beta. I'm gonna cover how to back up your projects using the local method. So it's gonna export it to a hard drive. So in case anything goes wrong, you can restore your files. I'm also gonna cover how to update your keyboard to the latest firmware so it will work with DaVinci Resolve 19 Beta and how to update the color panel if you have one once the updates are available. Let's go. I'm in the project manager in DaVinci Resolve and just make sure that you've got local open. You can also do it on Network Cloud if you have those. But for this tutorial, I'm going to cover local. What you want to do is click on the I, and then we go down to backup. What I tend to do is give it a date. So I put today's date in. DR backup, so I know it's a DaVinci Resolve. Just make sure when you're backing up your database, leave the dot .resolve in the title so it works correctly. And then I choose my location. So I call it backups, DaVinci Resolve projects, press save, and then back up the project library. And we can see it's done successfully. What that's done, that has only backed up the project file. It hasn't backed up all the media files, like all the videos. And I could do the same for any of the other ones. I could just go to details, backup as we did before. And if you ever need to restore files, you can just go to this little arrow here and press restore. And then you just search for the file. So you could just do it that way and press open and that's going to re-import your project. But you have to have the media on the drive in the same place it was before. To update your panels, go to your start menu and then just type in DaVinci. And then we're looking for control panel setup. And then click on this symbol here, run the update. Then go to the color panel. There's currently no updates for this yet, but I would suspect that uh, as the betas come out, uh, that will probably get an update shortly, and that's how to update your panels. So I've backed up my files. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm happy they're backed up. I'm gonna go and install DaVinci Resolve 19. So I've gone and downloaded that. I'll put the link in the description. Open my downloads folder. Make sure you quit DaVinci Resolve. If you're upgrading from 18.66 Studio to 19 Studio, don't worry about your key, mine just transferred across no problems. As soon as I opened it up, it didn't ask for the key. Extract the zip file. You can delete the zip file because you don't need that anymore. Then double click the installer, install Resolve 19. Just continue and agree to all terms and conditions. And it's gonna take a few moments while it runs the installer. Okay, so our installation was successful, we'll close that. Move the install to the bin, close our windows, and now I'm gonna fire up DaVinci Resolve. All right, so here's our splash screen. It's telling us everything that's new in that. So let's go to continue, get started. All right then, so we can see we've got our public beta and our projects are there. I'm gonna open one just to check that it's working. So my untitled DaVinci Resolve project opened and it's working okay. If you found this helpful, leave a comment below, click that like button and smash that subscribe. And well, if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice and thanks for watching.